I realized I would never have a future as a porn actor. How these guys do it <laughs> from in front of these people. I had I just felt icky being naked in front of my DP. It's such a personal thing that if you're gonna do this, do it right. You know, chart everything out, stick with the plan. Don't take any stupid risks. People die every day at sea. guys at Venice uh, where we lived for 10 years we actually met a block away from here at a fourth of July party this romantic left notes for me in the neighborhood I didn't get her number and she literally went back and put post-it notes in the neighborhood I stop it that, that doesn't happen in real life come on that's why you make a movie with a woman like that come on man she left notes for me <laughs> oh my gosh that is like you you should make a movie about that literally <laughs> that'd be a so, story it's a good story but it's so crazy that it doesn't seem real yeah yeah Not Actually, in today's day and age movie had her talking to her sister about that and it like felt like way too hallmarky cheesy it like turned into this so it'd be like a make believe like oh i don't believe that there's no way this happens you know <laughs> oh that's awesome that is so cool. I, I mean i knew you guys had to be a couple because if i'm talking to you guys and you're like no we're just like friends or we met on set i'd be like there's no way from what i saw in this movie you guys could be friends or not a legitimate couple yeah that's yeah, so I cool together and do this film together yeah yeah yeah, we learned yeah. that like it really comes down to creative taste when you make a movie with a, with with someone. Like if you don't have the same taste in music, this I could see so many. Um, you know. Yeah, when we started dating, it was pretty incredible because we really had very similar taste in, in film. So that that was really nice. Yeah, maybe that's the key. You know, when you're watching a movie and something bothers you, we would always have those moments <laughs> like and at the <laughs> same time. Which, oh, and when we love them too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Totally. That's great. You see, and then Dominique, that's your first film, right? Um, Terrence, you, you did one before. So this is kind of, you guys are uh, really, this is the big sort of movie for both of you. I mean, this is especially for you, Dominique, the first one. And it's it's so imaginative. It really is. It's unlike I've just, anything I've seen really with the cinematography. I got to get asking you guys where you found that location because it was amazing and um just the, i love the score of it even the end credits are awesome with the animation it's a very interesting movie all around and very it's got a unique touch it's got a very much your personality probably tied to it thank you man that was really the number one goal is we didn't want to make a movie connected to anyone you know sometimes when i start off a project i like to reference other films and this one mm -hmm. was like no like this is just from us let's have fun with it like let's make it as realistic as possible and really have it come from our souls and our creative energy rather than referencing other that, other films yeah, that yeah. were made. And, and Thank that. you so much for your work. Yeah, totally, man. No, I, absolutely, that's like, no. Enjoy it. Like that's that's why we made it. Yeah. It's noticeable. It's definitely different. And, and I like something new that you don't know what's going to happen technically. And I'm thinking like, is this based on maybe like a thing that happened in your guys's lives or seems like your relationship looks great right now uh, talking to you, but is this based on uh, reality in any sense or conversations that are people you've known? Cause it's very kind of personal. It's personal. Definitely. Yeah, it's um, that's a great question. It's uh, definitely not us, but definitely also things that we've been through with other couples that didn't work out. So yeah. they didn't take me in a boat ride to, you know, a sabbatical year. Maybe it would have worked out, but um, I think it's about about um, searching, you know, for for your own path in life. Um, yeah, and I think it is about what we were experienced at the time, seeing other couples and what we're going through and saying, like, why doesn't it work for some people? Some people shut themselves off from what they're really passionate about. And that was key to us in this story. And actually, when we first started improvising some scenes on the island, we were doing so well with the drama that we wanted to heighten that, you know, it was <laughs> fun for us into these things when we get along great in life, but that creatively was showing up very good on camera with our DP from Argentina mentioned just is amazing. His name is Lucio Benelli and he shot all the island stuff and he's one of the top Argentine. Yeah, we, we found this dramatical looking island in, off the coast of Chile in the Pacific. Ah, okay. 
for the first film to, to feature to film there. Yeah. yeah, but one of the interesting things is, uh, you know, of course, you know, the book, um, famous book, Robinson Crusoe, is based on a sailor maroon himself on this island because he wasn't getting along with the captain. And then the book was written loosely based on this guy, but then said on a more tropical island. And we thought like, wow, we could play with this idea and kind of take it into a couple um, format, you know? That's amazing. I mean, like the visuals just tell the story in itself too. It's just so beautiful. And, and I love how you guys stayed with the shots too. Like some of these shots are like, you know, 20 seconds of just like stillness almost, you know, like just watching the, the landscape of it. I thought it was awesome. Cause it's like, wow, you take it in and you suck it in as a viewer, even for those like 20 seconds, you like that stillness, you get to capture it. It was amazing. Did you guys see any people there? Cause it's basically you two in the film. I was like, they, did they really find an abandoned Island or what? Almost like if, if you're in a deserted island, because where you go to film, there's absolutely no one there. But but it has like 400 people. It is a small island mm -hmm. that has a town. But when you go to film or where you are moving around the town, around the island, there's nothing. And we actually sailed in. We, we had always thought, hey, as a couple, like maybe we'll live on a sailboat someday. But we took this journey and the boat was just bam, bam, bam for three days. And our editor started coughing up blood. And, and going up nonstop like 20 yeah, times. Yeah, like literally like just looking like a zombie with no sense of humanity. And when we arrived on the island, he rushed to find a stat phone and he called his girlfriend. And he said, I'm so sorry for being a jerk. I'm never going to be a bad guy to you again. Like he, <laughs> he thought had he was dying. <laughs> Yeah, he thought he was gonna die he was gonna quit the next day but the next day he was so tired that he didn't quit and then in a way we all the crew we bonded so much that the next month we had to film in the island that it was really tough because it was going through tough roads through tough tough mm -hmm. uh, cliffs it was raining the sun like we, we and it, it was easy in a way because we were so bonded that nothing was hard after that three-day journey boat but we did have to fly them back in a private plane. No, <laughs> of course. No back by Nobody plane. was yeah. getting back in the boat, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like you said in a movie, the boat might be gone, right? Just sailing away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love the seals too. That was such a cool time. Was this, I mean, I don't think you can, you, you, they're not coached up to come in a scene. Uh, you guys must have timed it really well because it just adds this nature element to it that just like, I have not seen another movie, like, unless it's like documentary on seals pretty much. Uh, that was beautiful. That was so cool. Yeah, and if you look carefully at the surfing scene, you'll see they're all jumping in the way, which is quite intimidating because they look at you like, what are you doing in my space? But then they see you're kind of having fun. And now they had, they, the seals had um, bitten a woman, a scuba diver, a couple of months before, and uh -huh. there's not a clinic, there's not even a pharmacy in that island. So if they bite you, you have to deal with your own wound. And also some boards of some surfers also had like pieces cut off from the from the seal so it was a challenge but it's also such a beautiful part of of the movie these these characters are finding themselves and they're connecting with their souls and with nature so we just had to do it yeah. oh yeah it was it's a must i mean if you see that happening around you like get the camera rolling we're getting that on you know because it's just it's like that unique part of nature that you know that's real you know and it makes the movie feel so much more personal and real too when you see such things it's like you can't you can't script something like that you really can what's crazy is that the end the third act that beautiful part of the island where i served mm -hmm. where she scuba dives you have to take a boat to like in the the sea was so big and our sailboat had already left that nobody wanted to take us because these are like humble humble lobstermen so mm -hmm. domi i don't even speak spanish she went and she talked to all these people and said hey we put everything into this movie and finally this greenhorn who only had like one season said, I'll take you guys. And we get to the other side and it takes us like three hours, about three times what it took with, with a calm seat. And we tie up the boat and all of a sudden you just see this guy's eyes change because there's a set coming from the horizon. And he took all our gear and threw it off and then took a hatchet and cut the rope and just sent us off. And that's when we shot the end if, of the if movie. he hadn't done that, the, his boat would have crashed with the, with the um, how do you call it? The, the dock. The yeah. dock and, and destroyed his boat, which is his only income. So Yeah. Wow. You guys need to make a movie or a documentary on the making of this film. That's what it sounds like. There's so much that happened behind the scenes that's fascinating to, to hear you talk about. It's unbelievable. What a story. 
Werner Herzog, Burden of Dreams. Have you ever read that one on making of Fitzgerald? Oh, really, really good. good. <laughs> How did you guys get Ed Harris into this? I mean, that's the best of the best right there, you know, for kind of like startup filmmakers. That's a heck of a get. And he was, he was added a great element to it too. Yeah. Well, we had shot the Island footage, just, just Domi and I, and mm -hmm. um, we, we were able to get that Ed Harris. I used to be a talent coordinator at the Academy Awards and he was one I was assigned to one year and we, it was the year he was nominated for Polly. So oh, I knew he was yeah. a filmmaker, not, He's a great, one of the great actors of all time, but sure. when someone's a filmmaker and they understand your project, which he did, he really responded to that. And he saw himself and he said, you just have to wait like a year because I have to shoot this little Western show. And we had no idea what it would be. <laughs> and it, it turned out to be the first season of Westworld we had to wait for. Wow. Yeah. A really generous, I mean, just a great human being. And I feel really lucky to have worked with him. Yeah, it was it was very special to have him because he represented what this couple is getting away from. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a really special part that he played and he my, was my dream actor to play his dad, so. Yeah, and he didn't shy away from the darker aspects of the character. We had said, hey man, they need a reason to run away to the island. He's like, okay, I'll go for it. <laughs> He's a sweet guy in person. He almost but... said in, in real life. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and, and he went after your hair too, Terrence. He, he really, and that we started, I was, that was a great back-to-back -back of, of lines that he had there too. I don't know if you've written that or if it was something off the cuff, but I was uh, I was very amused by that. Well, it is. I wrote it like a draft and then I went to Edge and we improvised and then I rewrote it again with, with kind of his touches. So it was really awesome to, to get my writing his and then the spontaneity and you know in argentina where we did the final color they were quoting his lines all the time <laughs> yeah so like you love to hate you know like your uncle or something that's, that's awesome. what we're going for i'm guessing you like you guys like being nude we've seen a lot of it in this movie i give you so much credit for bearing it all and being comfortable and looking comfortable on camera doing it um was this a i mean Hey, the movie tells a story of a couple, and that's realistic in that way too. I wow, I was impressed uh, by by the boldness you guys had. Tell me about the the backstory that led to these discussions or knowing to go for it. Well, the passion in a couple for me is very important, and and nudity and accepting who you are and giving yourself passionate to somebody else is for me an essence of of a couple of a marriage and. Uh, and that was what was not working in this couple or had worked at the beginning and after they were not connecting. So, so for me, it was important that in the island, they really open up and free themselves. And not just the female. I think too much of cinema is concentrated on the female body with the male not taking the risk. And it was really important for us that this man who was really sexually shut down also show and yeah. be full on. You know, like, yes, you did. Exactly. You went for it. <laughs> yeah, and it, how reality would be if we are in an island? Where we're not gonna be dressed so much if, if if we're in a deserted island, just the two of us. Yeah, and it was important that we had the kind of like more toned down sex scene that was a little more formal. And then you know, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but but I'll yeah. say that 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 one big scene uh, that that you're in. I thought it was real versus <laughs> some ass. I'm like, that is either well, so well acted or, you know, it is just maybe actually happening there too. So <laughs> I, that's when I knew you guys were a couple for sure. And we sold it. Yeah. yeah, we sold it very well. Very well, you know, too. And hey. <laughs> 30 and it was cold. freezing and not only freezing, there was flies all around really? at that time, but there like hundreds of flights so we had to move like kelp away like there was nothing real sex about that scene yeah. or sexy about it it was it was it was tough but but at the same time when you get into you get into you know you you i start believing i'm in the island and i'm in the film and but i realized i would never have a future as a porn actor how these guys do it <laughs> I mean, for these people i had i just felt icky being naked in front of my dp is such a personal thing that is she was, I mean, she was doing the work too there, you know what I mean? You just comfortably laying away there. <laughs> yeah, totally.
I, I love yeah. and the way honestly you guys shot even the sex scenes so interestingly too like some of the scenes even felt like over the shoulder shots like some scenes I've never even seen on camera too they were very not only sensual but the lighting of it and the angles were really creative too especially I mean, that that scene you had um also haven't seen grinding against the bed either too you know but that was a very cleverly shot and done scene i was like i've never seen that on cinema actually on on film that was really creative i don't know if you guys like studied certain like angles for that would be yeah, like show sex differently our, D, our dp has said in that scene he said i didn't i don't know if people do that that way and don't be sitting no, no i've, I've never seen it Never seen it, but a lot of women masturbate like that. It's it's very common, but I don't know why it has never been shown, or maybe it has been shown and we just haven't seen it. But I wanted to show it like that, yeah. Yeah, and that was part of this movie is trusting her to handle the female perspective because we didn't want it to be, we wanted it to be a very equal female male movie, you know, mm -hmm. and not dominated by one or the other. Yeah, um, and that's why we went to go find her sister in Argentina, who is Martina Guzman, who is. An absolute gem of an actress. If you have a chance, check out some of her other films. Yeah, she was fun in this movie. I, I like kind of the you know the outsider perspective that she offered. You know, especially the scene in the stall and everything. She has a little bit of like a zappy comedy to her too. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and Riley Riley offers that as well, kind of a counter to our intenseness on the island. Yeah, we liked a lot. yeah, we had a good brother and sister. Yeah, absolutely. No, you guys, I mean, so many things like I, I haven't really seen in this in previous movies that you've done here. So this is this is a group effort, seems like from the from the crew and, and both of you and, and the rest of the actors just all around. I can imagine the collaboration, you know, that that went into the, to make this movie because there's it's it's very personal and it's specialized in a lot of ways. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was it was a real collaboration and we worked with people that we would work again because. It was beautiful. There are beautiful people and human beings. So you're spending your life with them, not only doing a, a creative project. So it, it was really nice, the crew we found to, to do this film. And not only the crew in Argentina, also the crew in the States, because mm -hmm. we filmed in Argentina, in Chile, in, 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 in the United States. Yeah, the wow. stuff with Edward at Long Beach, all, that, all those trains and things you see, that's the port of Long Beach, which is one of the major ports in the world. But yeah, man, I appreciate the enthusiasm because you're only the second person who's actually seen the movie. Oh, wow. Who we do. So we don't really know what people are going to say. But none of our friends have seen the movie. <laughs> none of our best, best friends. Like, and we've been seven years not letting them see the film. So it's yeah. been a long time, right, for you guys. I mean, just getting to these continents all over the globe, literally, to film this. That's that's a heck of a feat. What do you think the family's going to say? I mean, are you guys kind of curious to see what friends and family are going to react to it or whatnot? I'm very curious to see what friends are, are going to yeah. say because we did show it to our parents are very old. <laughs> and our two sisters, my mother and his mother, they passed away. But both before passing away, they were able to see the film and loved right. it. And it was so fun talking to them about it. And, and we had very open mind mothers. Yeah, my mom was a super great. hippie, but she was like, wow, like you guys really go for it. Hmm. it you know, yeah, <laughs> it yeah, was yeah. her concern, but she thought the movie really played well. She's a huge movie buff. She would, I remember going to 99 cent cinema with her every Friday. You know, like that's how I got my love of movies. Yeah, and my father, who's still alive, he has seen it like ten times. Like he. Oh wow, <laughs> he's a fan. And so he, without volume, and he picks on little things, you know, and no, he loves it. So it's been really beautiful that they they really liked it. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Just knowing that too, you know, especially about your mom's. That you know, like what a what a thing to to hold on to, to know that this film was something that you were able to show to him this so many years of work and just that, uh, that's amazing. You know, I, I think that, that would probably stay with you for the rest of your lives that they were able to see that and you completed that, you know? Well, cause my first film, like I didn't have final cut and my mom saw it and she was like, well, it, it didn't come out so good. So I could see the look on her face, like, okay, cool. My filmmaker son made something cool. You know, it was really nice to see before she passed on. 
Yeah, that's yeah. that's special. That's so cool. I, I'm excited for you guys. Like, I, I really genuinely thought this was such an interesting film in so many ways, and, and it was bold. And and I think the rawness and authenticity is very spot on, not only with the relationship, but, but everything on it. It just felt very personal and raw. Like, these are real people, actually, not like some made-up characters in every essence. And you can see relationships are messy a lot of times and then you know family members get in the way of it too so it's it's a it's a lot of commentary on life and I love the title too because the title seems like go for it in life right it's just like that's sort of the message of this movie go for it and listen to yourself and, and kind of your heart you know and not others and just take chances and risks right yeah you gotta say you, you got it, to man. take um, risks in life because if not it becomes boring and dull and you lose that passion yeah, definitely. Yeah. I just wanted to quickly, before I end this with you guys, how did you meet at that 4th of July party? I'm kind of curious to know, like, what was the interaction? Because I, I think that's probably a story in itself right there. Talking about dogs, he was talking to a friend of mine, but for a moment we, we connected, but we didn't even flirt. We didn't dance. Like, it wasn't a thing so clear that we liked each other. Not at all. Huh. The next day I woke up thinking of him and, and I tell my friend, I really, there was something in his eyes and I want to, to connect with him. I want to invite him out. And my friend didn't have any link to him, didn't remember even his last name, nothing. So that's why I left the notes. I had no links. And, and in the neighborhood, I left my phone number and the person that got one of my notes said, We're, I'm going to ask every neighbor. Everybody was moved who saw the note and said, I'm going to be asking around for your TJ. And then a woman said the same thing. And the third call was TJ saying, I got your note. Um, let's go out. And I and it was funny because my friend is an, a, a pretty well-known actor who throws, used to throw these block parties. And he's uh -huh. like, my girlfriend's making me send this note to you. Like he almost didn't do it just out of spite or competitiveness. Uh -huh. And then when I saw it, it was written in this broken English. So I knew right away this is the real deal like I could, this, I could hear it like a voice over in the film this I was need 12 to... years ago so my English wasn't so good at all yeah, yeah. Well, and then I called it right away I was actually going to write a script in Alaska and I said hey I'm going to work on this project about a bear hunt gone wrong tomorrow but can you go out tonight and, and, I went... and he had a, a wedding actually you took me to a yeah, wedding of a your wedding, friend so our first party. date was going to a wedding of the party and, yeah the after party yeah that's yeah, awesome. Was, what a story. As a single guy who feels hopeless in a dating world, this is pretty inspirational. I'll say that. That I guess there is hope, you know, of finding someone in the most mind, unique way. Yeah. yeah. 12 years and 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 we are super in love. Like, yeah. It's incredible, but but it's a mystery. It's, it's very it didn't happen with my first husband. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it was meant to be. That's what it sounds like. It was literally meant to be for both of you, which is so great. It, it makes me smile and happy that, you know, there's genuine love that can still be found in this world of like digital and, you know, uh, people just like being anti-personal, you know, anymore, just swiping left and right. It's so cool to see that, you know, there's genuine bonds that can form uh, out of just the most interesting situations. Both well, my mind, you know. I think the longest relationship I had was six months and now I'm 12 years happier than ever. It, it really does exist. <laughs> Are you guys going to have kids then? I was like, is they're going to join on the next call? So everybody says that a kid changes your life so much that everything changes. And sometimes we are so happy that we don't want anything to change. So it's, yeah. it's a very tough decision because I also have the, the, the idea as, as a woman to have a baby. Like I have a cat and a dog and those are the most spoiled cat and dog you can <laughs> ever imagine. I give them thousands of kisses. And um, so sometimes I don't know, and there's so many kids already in this world and so much population, and I don't know where we're going, although I'm very optimistic. So it's not an easy decision that we're just yeah, we're going to have It's kids. smart. It's smart. You know, a lot of people shouldn't have kids and they do. And, and the world doesn't, you know, turn out well for anyone involved. So that's that's a really smart approach you guys are taking, being mindful of situations. There's one thing to have it, but then you got to raise and bring someone to the world, take it seriously. That's that. I wish more people kind of thought about certain things like that. 
Uh, and I'd like to just make another film together. <laughs> yeah, hey, you have to. After this, I absolutely expect you guys to be in another film. A more, maybe a, a, a more like a, a kind of a crazy romance or something, or you know, happenstance romance. I, it's right up your alley, certainly. Well, I wrote a sci-fi thriller that's really fun. That that could be great for us to do together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for you guys and see what's next. I, I thought you guys did a terrific job. You were like years of, of pro work. I thought you had behind your belt when I saw like, this is pretty much kind of your first project together. Just unbelievable how it turned out. And you guys got the right people on it and the look of it, something unique. And in a world where we always kind of get reboots and, and now and everything like that's nice to have some original work, you know, that was very um, artistic in, in so many ways. And, uh, and Hey, and the sex scenes were hot. So that's a thing I can say with a lot of confidence there for you guys too. So uh, fantastic job all around. Thank we appreciate you so it. Much. We yeah. appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Absolutely. Hope to catch up on the next one with you guys and something soon and uh, bring this out to the world. This is your baby, basically, in that sense. Your enthusiasm, Thank man. you so much. Thank yeah. you, guys. Take care. Bye.